One of the best things about using Google Chrome as your browser is that there are so many cool extensions that you can get for it. And Google itself actually makes a lot of extensions that a lot of people don't even know about. So in this video, I'm gonna go over and show you seven really cool Chrome extensions that I think you'll like, and these are all made directly by Google themselves. Starting off, first we have the Chrome Remote Desktop extension. And by the name of it, you can probably figure out what it's for. It allows you to connect remotely to other computers over the internet securely right through Chrome. And this could be useful for a couple of reasons, including accessing your own computer remotely, or if someone needs help, for example, with their computer, you can give them support directly. And this is not a new idea. Obviously, there are programs like TeamViewer and Microsoft's remote desktop software, but I think this is great because it's so easy. It's built right into Chrome that everyone's familiar with. Next up, number two, is the Data Saver extension. This is a neat extension if you are concerned at all about bandwidth caps from your ISP, or if you have pretty slow internet that is usually takes a while to load websites. What it does is uses Google servers to optimize and compress websites before it's delivered to your browser. So each website will take up less data than normal, and you can see how much data you're actually saving over time. There's, they have a little graph to show you that. And you can also use it on the mobile version of Chrome as well, which is especially useful because most cell providers, as you know, unfortunately have very low bandwidth caps. We all hate it, but this could be a way to help with that. One thing to know is that it won't compress sites all the time, like for example, when the connection is encrypted, because in that case, Google can't see any of the data being sent to you, obviously, and that really is a good thing. You don't want anyone being able to see what you're doing if it's encrypted. So this is really a great way to see how much data you're using from different sites, and you can actually reduce it in the process. All right, number three is personal block list, which honestly, I was so happy about when I found this one, it's so nice. The idea is very simple. It allows you to block certain websites from appearing in your Google search results. When you do a search, you'll now see a button next to each result, or below it rather, that blocks that URL in the future if you click on it. So this is really great, for example, if I'm searching for something in particular and half the results are from some spammy website that has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. You know exactly the type of site I'm talking about. You can just block it and now it doesn't show up anymore. So I can just block that site, makes it much easier to find what I'm looking for exactly, and this is definitely one of the most practical extensions in this video, I would say, so worth checking out. Next up, number four, is Google Dictionary. And I'm actually surprised that this isn't something that's built directly into Google Chrome. Like the name suggests, it makes it very easy to look up words and phrases that you're looking at on a website just by highlighting them. So if you're on any website, how it works is you just double click on any word and it will show you the definition of whatever you highlighted as a little pop-up or if it's a phrase, you can actually highlight it and then click the extension icon in the top, and then you can also click on the extension icon without highlighting anything and type in something you wanna look up. So it doesn't have to be highlighted, it can be anything. And I think this is way easier than what I used to do, which was highlight a word, right click it, hit search, and then it would bring up a whole separate results page with the definition on it. It's just so much more convenient with this extension, you can just double click it, way easier. All right, number five. This one is kind of interesting, I guess. It's called Google Tone, and how it works is you would install this extension on your computer and other computers around you, and then this extension will broadcast a tone or a set of tones to the other computers and allows you to send any URLs encoded in that sound to those computers that are listening. So if you're at an office meeting or hang out with friends, for example, and you want to share a link, you basically send it through the speakers by clicking this tone button and the microphones on the other computers will pick it up wirelessly and show whatever URL you wanted to send. So this is definitely an unusual one, might not be useful all the time, but I think if you can get it to work well without in a noisy environment, I think it would be cool in some situations, but I don't know if a lot of people wanna keep their microphones all the time for privacy concerns, but hey, you might want to. All right, so next, coming near the end, number six, is the search by image extension. What this does is makes it very easy to search Google for images that you see on any site. Now, Google has already had this feature for a while where you can go on Google image search and either upload a picture or post a link to a file and it will do a search based on the image itself, not a query or a text input. And also built into Chrome actually 
is this option if you right click and hit search for Google Images. But what this extension does is adds just a little bit more functionality. So it might not be super useful, but you might want it. And one of the things it does is makes a little search button appear at the bottom right of any image you're looking at. So if you're on a website and you wanna find similar images, you just click on this little icon and it'll automatically search from there. You don't have to do any extra clicks or go to Google or anything like that. So this one might be a little bit redundant, but could still be useful. And I do believe there is a Firefox extension, so that might be even more useful because it might not be built in Google image search like Chrome is. So if you have Firefox at least, I would check it out on there. All right, finally, number seven is a cool one. It's called Google Similar Pages. And how this extension works is when you're on any website, you can click on the extension button and it will show you a list of websites it thinks are similar to the page you're on. So for example, if you're on a website talking about photography, if you click on it, it will show you other popular websites related to photography or the topic at hand that you might like. I think this is great whether you're just being bored or doing some actual research and need to find more information about something. It's a really simple idea and could be very useful. So you could just keep going on forever, going from related site to related site. Definitely worth checking out. I think it's fun. So I think that's it. Those are the extensions from Google that I thought were cool and they do have many more that you can see on the Chrome Web Store if you just look at the ones made by Google themselves. But I do think these are the best, the most interesting, worth mentioning. So if you guys like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And also let me know, of course, down in the comment section what you thought, if you have anything that I forgot. Maybe there are other really cool extensions that aren't necessarily made by Google. Let us know down there anything worth mentioning. And if you want to keep watching, I'll put some videos right here. You can click on these even if you're on a phone. And also, if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it should be worth it. And also consider clicking the subscriber bell next to the subscribe button for notifications because believe me, the YouTube algorithm is not going to show you any of my new videos because the algorithm sucks. So click that so you make sure you actually get them. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have a good one.